Director and Chief Operating Officer of Prime Agro Seeds, Mecca Wambuku, said the company was set up to enable farmers have access to good, cheaper seeds for planting, while the costs associated with importing seeds will reduce. He thanked Wells Holster Farms for making their greenhouses available for the demonstration process. A member of Prime Agro Seeds and Dutch Partners, Elwood Shurunk, comment on the purpose of the demonstration exercise. The whole purpose of today is to come and um, demonstrate the progress we are making to achieve our goal of being local Nigerian based and Nigerian led company that manufactures and produces hybrid vegetable seeds of excellent quality. Now, the reason we are set up this company called Prime Agro Seeds is because we believe that it is important that the farmers in Nigeria have better access to good quality seeds. Today what we see that we already have a really good step. This is really the first cycle in Nigeria with the new parent lines, the new hybrids and what we learn by the tomatoes and the peppers that we make big steps. Stakeholders and newsmen were then taken on a guided tour around the pepper and tomatoes demonstration greenhouse at Wells Hosa Farms. Here it's one of their demonstration farms at Wells Hosa Farms in Benin City. What they do here is to try out some of the seedlings and pick out the best of them all, which they eventually sell out to farmers and their customers around town. At the end of the tour, at all State Commission of Agriculture, Stephen Ide Henry said, with these developments, the cost of seeds purchase will drop astronomically as cheaper and better hybrid seeds will now be available to farmers through prime agro seeds. The managing director at all State Investment Promotion Office, Kevin YB, commits. First state in Nigeria where this experimentation is going on, where seed multiplication for vegetable seeds production will happen. This is a big one for us and uh, we are quite excited that they are here. As a government, we will continue to support the businesses they are doing. Sharon Ajayi reporting.